Greetings once again, Shinobi. Dues this then back again with more Naruto. Kanoha Stories, the Steam Ninja Scroll. Previously, Mirai managed to settle an age-old dispute with a combination of both her mother and father's techniques, showing that she is indeed a crafty one, as well as helping Kiba to keep his girlfriend, and making Gai Sensei out to be a hero. But the destination of Kakashi Gai and Mirai is fraught with danger, and is the homeland of the cult of Jashin, and you know how powerful he was. Are our heroes about to be led into danger? Or will Mirai manage to settle something that her father started long ago? Join me and find out, won't you? Alright, so we got we open up with Kakashi and Guy facing off, and I can only assume with a situation like this it's ping pong. As they look at each other with steely determination, Guy says at last the time has come. After all these years, you and I will have a real showdown. Mirai watches on and swallows intensely. Kanoha Story, The Steam Ninja Scroll, Chapter 7, A Clash of Rival, and Ten-Ten! Oh snap! And uh, Naked Ten-Ten. Well, this manga immediately gets at a 10 out of 10 from me. Ten-Ten is serving up more and doing more than most stories she's ever been in. We pick up in a ryokan in the land Land of Steam, where Mirai is chilling out in a hot spring. Man, I'm loving some fan service, man. Fan service in a Naruto story? Ugh, feels like we don't ever get that anymore. Mirai says, ah, this feels so good on my achy bones. Up walks Ten Ten saying talk like that and people will think you're an old man. Mirai turns and says, Ten Ten. Man, this manga is like a goldmine for characters who have been neglected for from the Baruto story. Between this and the Sasuke side story, you keep this up and I might actually feel like the golden age of Naruto again. Speaking of fan service, as soon as Ten Ten gets into the bath, she goes, ah, that hits the spot in a very, uh, sensual way. Like, damn. I gotta say, a lot of the girls in Naruto, they had such a glow up. Like, the older they get, the more beautiful they get. Which is especially funny because I pretty much aged alongside them, which is weird. Ten-Ten Ten -ten laughs and says, <laughs> I guess I'm the same way. Can't fight the liberating feeling of a hot spring. Mariah says, thank you, Ten-Ten. I really appreciate you coming all this way to deliver my thing. I'm so embarrassed that I confused two days with 20 days. Oh, okay, that's why Ten Ten's here. I didn't know she was close with Mariah like this. Ten Ten says, it's no big deal, really. I was already touring hot springs on my time off. What's one more? Mariah questions, and my mother? Did she say anything? Ten Ten smiles and says, she laughed and said, that girl's always been a bit reckless. Mariah then pictures her mother, Karina, giving a wicked smile and saying, you really are. That's the smile of a girl. I am so disappointed in you. Mariah cringes and says, be scary. Mariah. Ten Ten pats Mirai on the back saying, I'm telling you, it's fine. I should be thanking you, actually. Now I get to test this baby out. Ten Ten pulls out a kunai and says, A hot spring kunai designed by yours truly. I'm thinking about selling it in my shop. It may look like an ordinary kunai, but it's actually completely rust-proof, even when used in a hot spring. Mirai questions, uh, kunai in a hot spring? Hey, don't, don't underestimate when you need to bring a kunai in a hot spring. Actually, now that I think about it, where was she keeping that? Hmm. Ten Ten says, see, I can bring it into the water with me and not worry that it'll rust. Mirai questions, but how often do you have to fight while you're bathing in a hot spring? Ten Ten pauses and says, uh... I guess not much. The guys would find a woman with a kunai in the hot spring pretty hot, right? She says as she poses. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty hot. Like, this scene alone is like the greatest thing Ten Ten has ever done in the history of Naruto. Mirai says, beats me. You'd have to ask one. Ten Ten sulks saying, good point. I better ask Master Guy or Lord Six. Mirai says, please no. You'll embarrass them. But Ten Ten just laughs and says, you really, you're really good with comeback. Uh, that was a good laugh. Although it's obvious Mirai didn't say that as a joke. Ten Ten says, Mirai, I can see you'll get on just fine with Master Guy. Mirai says, you think so? I don't know. Honestly, when he gets going, I can't keep up with him. Tenta says he does get carried away when he talks. Mirai adds, and he's so brave, it's kind of unreal. Tenta then adds, hmm, 
I'm not so sure. If you ask me, sometimes I wonder if Master Guy actually gets more afraid than others. And I says, seriously? Surely not Master Guy of all people. As the two of them get out of the hot spring and get dressed into their relaxed robes. Mariah thinks to Ten Ten's word, as she explains that that was just me speculating. It was something I only started thinking once I reached my late 20s. The same age Master Guy was when I was his student. Ah, seeing old team guy. Ah, the good old days. Ten Ten says, no matter how bad things got, he always... He was always there with a smile to inspire us to be brave. He went through a lot of scary things, but he never let a hint of fear show. Maybe because he didn't want to scare us. That is true. Sometimes when you're younger, you don't really realize what adults are doing. When they always seem to be carefree or do certain things, but when you get to their age, sometimes you get a better understanding of what their mindset might have been, and you have a greater appreciation for those little moments where they try to help you without you really knowing it. Tendence says, I don't believe anyone is born brave. They summon courage, either for themselves or for someone else, and that's what first makes them brave. That is beautiful. Mariah then says to Tenten, Master Guy really is an incredible person, isn't he? Ten Ten says, hmm? Oh, you mean what we were talking about earlier? You're right. He, he sure is. Almost more than I can believe. That said, there are some things that even Master Guy can't handle, like ghosts. And as they walk out of the bath, Mariah questions, well, isn't that more like being jumpy than scared? Ten Ten says, can't you imagine him saying something like, I can't do this. Tai Chi Chi doesn't work on ghosts. <laughs> Mariah says, you have a point. But then Ten Ten notices Guy sitting off in the corner saying, speak of the devil, Master Guy. What are you doing here? Guy says, oh, Ten Ten and Mariah. Kakashi had to step out to make a phone call. Ten Ten questions, you're in a ryokan, so why not kick back and relax in your room until he comes back? Guy says, well, I don't know. I figured... I might as well go have a drink from the hot spring water fountain. But Mariah gets angry, saying, The spring water? But you already done that, didn't you? Guy sheepishly says, y Yes? But Mariah with fury in her eyes says, No matter how good it is for your health, too much will be bad for you. The instructions said only one cup per day. Guy says, Ugh. Right, they did say that. But, well, I was, you know, bored. The Ten Ten realizes something, saying, Wait a minute. Don't tell me you're afraid to be alone in your room, Master Guy, she says with a devilish grin. She then teases Guy, saying, This Ryokan has a history, after all. Some ghoulie might pay you a visit. Scary, right? Guy says nervously, Don't be ridiculous, I'm not a child. But then enters Kakashi, saying, Sorry about that. I'm done with my call. Tensei says, Oh, Master Kakashi. Mariah questions, So, who were you talking to? If it was our regular report, I was going to do that later. Kakashi says, it was just a quick call from Naruto. My questions from Lord Seven? Is there an emergency? Kakashi says, no, he just wanted to confirm something. Nothing big. Even if anything was going on, my students are capable. I'm not worried about them. Mariah then questions, uh, did Lord Seventh have anything to say about me? Like maybe any words of encouragement or... It's so weird to see so many people kind of fawning over Naruto. You got Kawaki, Sarada, Mirai, all wanting to be praised by Naruto. It, it's... It's surreal. After all this time I've spent with the series to be at a point like this, but... I mean, it, it was always the goal, right? Kakashi then says, hmm? We didn't really talk about things on this side. Mirai nervously says, I see. Kakashi then adds, well, that just shows how much he believes in us. But it's obvious this is a cold comfort to Mirai as she hesitantly says, right. Kakashi then asks, now, how about us guys hit the hot spring? But Guy says excitedly, wait. There's something else I want to do first. It's the reason I came here. Kakashi says, I know. Let's be off to the game room. But Mariah gets a little annoyed saying, but he said he was going to the spring fountain. But before Mariah can go off and follow them, Tenten grabs her by the back of her shirt saying, wait Mariah. Mariah questions, Tenten? Tenten says, I just thought of something fun. Naturally, Mariah questions this and next thing she knows, she's sitting off on the sidelines of Kakashi and Mike Guy's table tennis match, with Guy saying, no holding back, let's do this, 
Game on as he serves his shot. Not too much going on here, but I don't know. Like, just 1010 alone made me happy about this chapter. I'm one of those people who is always kind of disappointed that certain characters were so underutilized in the main series that I've been appreciating the side stories that have featured more of those characters. Like the Sasuke story that's given us a lot of Sakura. This story that's given us some ten ten and even gave us Kiba. I mean, I've genuinely been appreciating this kind of stuff. And Mirai's role is interesting too as someone who seems to think so fondly of Naruto as well as a lot of other characters. Between her relationship with Shikamaru, Kuranai, Guy, Kakashi... Ten Ten Kiba. It's just interesting seeing someone who has such close relations to so many characters as she kind of plays the role of an observer and how wacky and wild they can be. Again, it's essentially just glorified Naruto filler, but at the same time, it has characters who I miss seeing in the spotlight, even if it is just filler sometimes. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. And until then, I've been news this then, and I hope to see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.